In this video we share Our Lady of Heda, Germany. The reported apparitions of Heda, Germany took place between November 1, 1937 and November 3, 1940. There were four children seers involved whose names are known but little else. Here are their names, Margaret Gansfirth, Greta Gansfirth, Anna Schult, Susanna Bruns. Mary appeared to the children near their homes, in a meadow, and at other places. She didn't use a special title, but was holding the divine child in her arms when she first appeared. Mary appeared to the children an undetermined number of times of which only three were recorded. After the children were forbidden by the Gestapo, and briefly arrested, to go to the place of the original apparition, Mary appeared to them in secret. Prayer, conversion, and the rosary, which has immeasurable power, are to be considered as primary messages. It is reported that Our Lady herself became the teacher of the children. On March 7, 1946, German Bishop Berning authorized a statue of the Mary, Queen of the Universe, molded according to the description of the visionaries, to be made and placed at the church cemetery where the first apparitions in Heda were reported. On June 3, 1959, the Bishop of Osnabrück declared the following, the apparitions are undeniable proof of the seriousness and authenticity of these manifestations. In the apparitions and messages of Heda we find nothing contrary to the faith. Indeed, their similarity to the approved apparitions of Fatima, Lord, and La Salette give good indications of their authenticity. In that German town, our Lord Jesus Christ warned as follows. Men did not listen to my Most Holy Mother when she appeared to them at Fatima and admonished them to do penance. Now I, myself, am coming at the last hour to warn and admonish mankind. The times are very serious. Men should at last do penance, turn away from their sins and pray, pray much in order that the wrath of God may be mitigated. Particularly the Holy Rosary should be prayed very often. The Rosary is very powerful with God. Worldly pleasures and amusements should be restricted. Men do not listen to my voice. They harden their hearts, they resist my grace. They do not wish to have anything to do with my mercy, my love, my merits. Mankind is worse than before the deluge. Mankind is suffocating in sin. Hatred and greed rule their hearts. This is the work of the devil. They live in great darkness. Through the wounds that bled, mercy will again gain victory over justice. My faithful souls should not be asleep now like the disciples on Mount Olivet. They should pray without ceasing and gain all they can for themselves and for others. This generation deserves to be annihilated but I desire to show myself as merciful, tremendous things are in preparation, it will be terrible as never before since the foundation of the world. All those, who in these grave times have suffered so much, are martyrs and form the seed for the renovation of the church. They were privileged to participate in my captivity, in my scourging, in my crown of thorns, and my way of the cross. That which will shortly happen, will greatly surpass everything that has ever happened until now. The Blessed Virgin Mary and all the choirs of angels will be active during these events. Hell believes that it is sure of the harvest, but I will snatch it away from them. I will come with my peace. Many curse me now, but these sufferings will come over mankind that they may be saved through it. Many expiate all they can for those who curse me now. With a few faithful I will build up my kingdom. As a flash of lightning this kingdom will come. Much faster than mankind will realize. I will give them a special light. For some this light will be a blessing, for others, darkness. The light will come like the star that showed the way to the wise men. Mankind will experience my love and my power. My beloved, the hour comes closer. Pray without ceasing. Those who are not in the state of grace, when the minor judgment or the warning happens, it will be frightful for them. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.